Hi, this is Brian with Pioneer Builders. This is a video to help someone who's building a home to understand, according to the International Residential Code, what can be cut, drilled, and notched. It's based off of sections R502.8 and R502.8.1, but it's a lot easier to understand these figures, R502.8, cutting, notching, and drilling. They're on two different sheets within the code book. So what I did is I made this particular sheet by copying the upper portion and laying it on another copy of the bottom page. It's not a bad idea to have this on site, not only as the builder, but even as a reference for plumbers, mechanical contractors, and electricians. So starting with this floor joist, center cuts, you'll notice if you take the length, which is the L at the top, and divide it by three, there are no notches permitted in the center third. On the right side is the depth of the member. So looking on the left side, we see the notch at the top. The diameter divided by three, or one third the diameter, is the maximum length that you can have for that notch. And then the maximum depth is one sixth. You notice over on the right hand side, they show a notch on show a notch on the tension side of the joist. So here we have the depth divided by three gives the maximum notch length, same as the other side. And then it says the depth divided by six max for members less than four inches nominal dimension. So you've got that same one sixth figure, but you're really not allowed to do any notching unless it's at the ends of the joist for a framing member less than four inches nominal dimension. If you look at these end cuts now, you can see that illustrated floor joist end cuts. You see how the joist is let into those double top plates. So here we have the, di the depth is divided by four or one quarter. That's on the tension side there on the end although perhaps that's not technically a tension side since it's bearing directly there. And then on the right hand side you see one quarter is the notch that can be given for the top side. So that's for floor joist end cuts. Now for cutting, notching, and drilling we get to the drilling section. So we've got one third is what you're allowed to drill. One third of the depth maximum and then two inches minimum from the top and bottom of the joist. So hopefully that video can help. If you have any comments, feel free to make them below. If you'd like to subscribe, tell me what kind of things that you enjoy watching. I'd love to hear it.